creamy tomato soup, a smooth and velvety dish. Unfortunately, it does this to you. So let's make a different version of creamy tomato soup without it doing this to you. Okay, let's begin to work on the tomato soup. Now, some of you might be wondering, why do I have a soft spot on top of a cast iron skillet? Well, the thing with induction cookers is that your pot needs to have a magnetic bottom. If you don't, well, the induction cooker kind of, sort of, has a bit of a mental breakdown. Why can't I do it over the stove? Because then I'd have to move all this filming equipment. And quite frankly, I'm just one person. So set this over medium-high heat. All right, let's toss in a little bit of grapeseed oil. Okay, once it heats up a bit, let's add half an onion diced. Okay, I thought this would work, but it's clearly not. No big deal, I'll just cook everything in the skillet. Let's also add three cloves of garlic minced. Okay, once the onions turn translucent, bring the heat down to low. And let's add one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Now let's add our spices. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Half a teaspoon of dried basil. And half a teaspoon of dried oregano. Mix it all in. And let's add two cups of chicken broth. Bring this to a boil. Okay, once this baby reaches a boil, bring it down to medium. And let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. You know what? Ugh, don't want this thing to get all fogged up. Okay, it's been 10 to 15 minutes, and now it's time to blend this thing smooth. So, grab yourself a big enough blender. I'm using a Vitamix. Now, without trying to burn yourself or melt the plastic, pour our soup into the blender. Don't like having a dirty workspace. Slap on the lid. And uh, let's blend this thing on medium-high. Now here's the part we're making for Screw it, I'm doing it in post. Ah uh, yeah, much better. Anyway, drizzle in two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, let's give this a nice taste test. A little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. And uh, we're gonna add a little bit more oil, so let's start it again. Oh yeah, that's good. And there we have it folks, a nice, rich, creamy soup without actual cream. Of course, if I really want to lose the weight, I have to go out and exercise. This is a rather hot October. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Yes, I should go out and exercise, but between this job and my other job, you know, the one that pays, I pretty much have no time in my schedule. So please support me on Patreon.